Chris Kmart, take it away. All right, Julie. Hey, Kenyon, uh, what, what's a day in the life of Kenyon Martin right now? Um, rehab and more rehab and a lot of time and boredom. <laughs> okay, well, you get up, then what do you do? Do you, do you go right to rehab and work out? Or? Um, we have scheduled times, you know what I'm saying? Um, I come in some days doing practice after practice some days. You know what I'm saying? Just try to come in and just do basically what you guys saw. You know what I'm saying? Come in and core stuff, strengthening. Um, just working on my, uh, on my flexibility and stuff like that, with the range of motion. So, spend a lot of time with us. <laughs> uh -huh. um, how difficult is it for you to sit and watch the game? Oh, it's rough. It? <laughs> it's, uh, it's impossible some days. You know what I'm saying? The team struggles some games, and I see things I could help with, and then it makes it even worse that I'm not playing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, just trying to, I'm just trying not to, um, just trying to be supportive. Um, just trying not to be a selfish, and thinking about me all the time, just thinking about the team. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's rough. Okay, well, let's talk about your rehab. Where would you say, now your right knee is the most recent surgery in November. Tell us where that right knee is right now. Can you give us a percentage and um, what are you doing for it, et cetera? A percent, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know a percent right now because we're just being very cautious with it. You know what I'm saying? Just taking our time and not, and not trying to rush it. So um, I'm a little ahead of schedule, I think, but just uh, I, I, I couldn't put a percent on it right now, but I, but I feel good. There's no pain. It doesn't hurt? No, no pain at all. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Even with the stuff I'm doing daily, there's no pain. Can, can you walk? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah obviously, yeah, you can yeah, walk. Yeah, can yeah, you no, run? No running. No run yet. So you're just no, on the bike? <laughs> on the bike. This is, okay. this is the extent of it right here. Steve Hess makes yeah. you get on the bike for yeah, like 10 like hours a day? Nah, not that long. You know what there I'm he saying? is if right he could, there. If he could, he would. Steve Hess, the madman. Yeah, if he could, if he could have me ride the bike that long, he would. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, like I said, uh, yeah, we don't want to do anything to jeopardize, I'm saying, the rehab process. Um, so, uh, so just take it easy, take it slow, and just go from there. Okay. Microfracture surgery. You've got Zach Randolph coming back and playing great. You've got Amari Stoudemire. Does that encourage you? Does that make you feel good in terms of uh, your recuperation that you can get back to the old Kenya? Just looking at those guys, but I'm saying, uh, you've also heard, like, horror stories as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's 50-50. Yeah. I'm saying, because I've been there with the left knee and didn't, I mean, didn't respond. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm just looking forward to it, you know, so I'm looking forward to coming back and I'm going to do everything I can just to make sure I'm, that I'm the player that I used to be. So I'm just looking at Amari and looking at Zach, you know, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. Okay, when you were in your heyday, when you were playing your best <laughs> with the New Jersey Nets, obviously that was, you were coupled with Jason Kidd. What are your thoughts about playing with Iverson, with an, another great guard like Allen, and what can fans envision when you come back and how you would play with AI? I Just reading one another because we both love the game, love to compete. You know what I'm saying? Once you're on the court with a guy who, who loves to play the game and, and loves his teammates, I'm saying, it makes the game easy. You know I'm saying, like I said, playing with Jason uh, made the game easy for me. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of tension was on him. You know, so a lot of tension is going to be on AI and Melo. You know what I'm saying? So just when I come back, just, just try to fit in right away. You know what I'm saying? Come in this beacon. What do, you, what do you think your timetable is now in terms of a recovery? When do you expect to start running? When do you think you can start playing again? Will you be ready yeah, next I, November? Yeah, I'll be ready in November. Um, I probably won't get to play the minutes that I would like to play at first. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'll be back. I'll, 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 I'll definitely be playing in November. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So just if everything goes according to plan and there's no setbacks, um, I can start maybe running and just, you know what I'm saying, just getting, trying to get in some shape, you know what I'm saying, for, uh, for October. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the interview. No problem. I appreciate it. Kenya Martin fans, he's getting ready for next year. Could use him against Tim Duncan. I